Hello everyone, welcome to my Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Veteran Difficulty, no exo upgrades walkthrough. This is Mission 8, Sentinel, and obviously we are playing on the side of Sentinel, and we are infiltrating Iron's private estate, and doing some really interesting sequences, and this is probably one of my favorite missions in the game, and after doing a cadre of bad missions in the previous parts of this walkthrough, this is the first mission that has actually impressed me for a while, and I remember the sequence very well because I remember listening to the music that plays when you're near those civilians that are just partying over to the left. And I remember having a lot of fun doing the stealth sequence, and this is probably like the first time Call of Duty has ever done a stealth sequence that actually puts you in control and they're introducing mechanics like with the social status icon that we're seeing right now which obviously if the meter goes fully blue the enemy will detect you and then you have the ability to grapple and the grapple it works a lot like batman arkham's grapple and everyone knows that the batman arkham grapple is one of the best grapple systems ever and the mechanics are intrinsically the same and the detection is exactly the same as well only on this game, compared to Batman Arkham, you can actually grapple to points that are on the same horizontal plane, rather than just only grappling up to points that are above you. Like right here, I'm grappling up to a point that's above me, but there are sequences later on where there are ledges right in front of you, like on the same horizontal plane as you, that you can actually grapple to. And it's really cool that it allows that, because oftentimes when you're jumping to a mantle plane, sometimes the detection can betray you, so it's nice to have that option at your disposal. So the grapple on this game is very helpful for traversing the environment, and you can also use it for stealth kills as well. But I'm not going to waste time indulging in that system. There's no point. It just wastes a lot of time. The pathing on the enemies is always the same each time you replay this mission. So once you find a path that works, you can continue to use that path and get through the sequence easily. Now, this path right here, when you get over to the spot, you'll want to grapple up to the rafters above or get into the room on the right because that civilian is heading your way. And you'll notice there was a transition just then. Well, it's because after I get past the civilian, uh, there's a drone that will spawn in order to scan those civilians that are right in front of me. And if you grapple too soon, it will spot you as it's descending downward. So I'm going to wait a little bit and then grapple. And then, right here, you need to be a little bit fast, because the drone that you just passed is going to climb up onto the building, and you gotta wait until that drone right in front of you moves away, and then the moment it moves away, you've got to move before the other drone spots you. You see the social status icon just then? That was him. And that is the end of the stealth sequence. Like, this is a nice change of pace to the gameplay to really get you introduced to Sentinel, and to help you understand their incognito nature. And sadly, I think this is the only stealth mission in the game where this format is favored. And once we get over to this part of the hangar right here, after I skipped a bunch of uh, dialogue and moments where you're following Cormac, uh, all you need to do is run, grapple onto the plane, and that's the end of the mission. Stay tuned for the future missions. Thank you all for watching, and you take care now.